Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here to let you know what the optional milestones are in the new expedition, the Leviathan expedition for No Man's Sky. So when you start, you, you're going to notice that there are optional milestones. You see, I've finished all of the uh, phase one milestones except for this one over here. And I'm like, what the? What? I, I can't finish this one. So if you select it out of your menu, go to your pause menu, go to your expedition tab and select your optional milestone. It'll bring you into your log and it'll say, hey, universal loop memory restoration is at 7%. We need four more percent. What is that? What the heck is going on here? So then if you actually go into your log menu and go to your loop progression right there, this actually tells you everything you need to know. This is a community milestone. So everyone has to add to this one. So the way you add to the community milestone is go to the uh, space anomaly. You see, I've landed on the space anomaly. And you know how you get, you go to uh, the, one of the first milestones you get is to go talk to Polo and see what is going on, right? We have to go talk to Polo. So let's get up here. Let's talk to Polo and see what's going on. Now, Polo is going to be asking you for three different items. He wants you to get liquid sun, 250 liquid sun, deliver 200 ancestral memories, and 100 somnal dust. So let me show you what that is. So the uh, liquid sun is actually going to come from mining a, uh, mining a deposit. So you need to have a solar ray in your, uh, in your, ta in your uh, multi-tool. So once you have a solar ray, where is it at? There you are right there. Once you have a solar ray, go down to a planet, any planet, any resource, go to a deposit. This could be copper, it could be ammonia, it could be phosphorus, any deposit on a planet and it will turn into liquid sun if you use your ray, your solar ray. Then we have ancestral memories. These are actually items you get from friendly creatures. So you have to go feed an animal. If you go feed an animal, they will actually give you the option to pull out to uh, get ancestral memories from them. So all you have to do is feed them, get their ancestral memories. You can farm it that way and you can come back here and turn it into Polo. The last one on the list is the Somnal Dust. This is actually a random drop when you're inside a derelict freighter. So. Let me show you how to do a derelict freighter. This is the hard one. You don't need to get any of these at all. You, can, or you If you want to focus on one, like Liquid Sun, go ahead, do that. If you want to focus on the Ancestral Memories, go ahead and do that. But if you want to get the Somnal Dust, this is going to be the hardest one that most people are not going to get. So I'm going out of my way to go and get it. Let me show you how to do that. So once you're outside in space in your ship, let me uh, let me show you what I got here. So once you're in space, you have the um, emergency broadcast receiver. This will actually show you where a derelict freighter is. You only need one. So let's put that in our inventory and we're going to activate it by pressing X on Xbox or square if you're on PlayStation. And now that it's tuned, we need to pulse drive and see if we can run into a derelict freighter. Here we go, and there it is. Boom, you only need to post drive for a little while. Now we're gonna land on it and we're gonna go through a derelict freighter. And as you're going through a derelict freighter, one of the random drops you get is going to be the Sominal Dust. So let's make sure we have that one lost right here. So lost in space, land on a derelict freighter. It will give you step-by-step -step instructions. So again, if you want to figure out how to get any of these cool things, the loop research, that way we can add to the optional expedition milestone, just select it. Like if you have the, uh, if you want to go get liquid sun, select that one and it'll tell you, hey, gather liquid sun, bottom right hand side of your screen. The solar ray will convert resource deposits into liquid sun. Press Y to equip the solar ray. There you go. So we could do all of that. We're gonna run, you, you run through a, a derelict freighter. You can get Sominal Dust and you can turn it into Polo. And again, this is all uh, optional. So there is a bug right now that won't let you complete. Like if you go to my, if I go to my final loop, I have my phase one complete, phase two and phase three, but I won't be able to get the reward because there is a glitch, a bug that they are fixing right now. We're waiting, we are waiting on the uh, update, the patch. 
but for whatever reason it is still waiting on these optional milestones but don't worry you cannot do it on your own we all as a community have to do this we all have to turn in liquid sun sominal dust and ancestral memories so go do that you guys we're going to get it up there and one of the best rewards is right now whenever we get our randomized upgrades Right now, they're C-class. If we get this first optional milestone, they will turn into B-class upgrades. So any new upgrades you get will start being B instead of a C. And if we get this second one in the fa in phase two, if we get this one, they will turn into A-class. And so we will constantly be improving the technology we are getting, randomized technology. So we will be getting better and better technology. Hopefully, you guys are doing it hopefully you guys are farming it out and getting it done if you are hit me with those comments down below what is your favorite one to farm are you doing the liquid sun are you doing the uh, sominal dust or the ancestral memories and i will see you guys next time